in our activity our closed loop system will have the following form it mainly comprises of the controller to be implemented in Arduino a motor driver and the motor the motor transfer function can be obtained from the data sheet as discussed in the previous video and we have a, a sensor an encoder employed for measuring the speed of the brush DC motor but I would rather consider my closed loop system to have the following format instead where the motor prime transfer function includes the dynamics of the H bridge and the encoder so the motor prime transfer function can be obtained experimentally it is a modified version of the original transfer function as a reminder here are our design requirements we would like to have a settling time less than two seconds an overshoot percentage less than five percent and a steady state error of less than one percent here are the list of constants used and the motor transfer function with KT in the numerator and the following coefficients in the denominator this is how you generate your PID controller with KP, KI, KD and MC here represent the closed loop transfer function including the controller as well Using the trial and error method, we add the proportional gain to improve the rising time. Then we can tune the derivative gain to improve the overshoot percentage. And later we modify the integral control constant to eliminate the steady state error. Then we adjust as necessary needed in order to achieve our desired performance. Remember, increasing KP not only improves the rising time, but also can minimize the steady state error as well. Of course, this may be at the expense of increasing the overshoot percentage. However, later you can improve the overshoot by adjusting the derivative gain. Here we are assuming the simplified block diagram, where the motor prime transfer function of the DC motor is the same as our motor transfer function normally it's advisable to obtain first the open loop response of your system and subsequently determine what to improve you can add later a proportional gain control to improve the rising time then you can add a derivative gain to improve the overshoot percentage and perhaps you can add an integral control constant to eliminate the steady state error. Later you can adjust each of the parameters in order to achieve the desired performance. All the three PID controller parameters may not be necessarily used in some cases. In many occasions the tuning stops at the PI control combination. Remember the main objective of the PID parameters KP, KI, KD is to obtain a fast rise time with minimum overshoot and almost no steady state error For now, let's accept those PID constants and move on to the discretization approach that will be used to discretize the whole system, including the controller. 